day, and instead of going straight home from school, the pearls dawdled. They watched the grown-ups in town at their grown-up work, things they might someday be doing. Later, they sat on the ground in the forest between school and home. Spring was so bright and beautiful. The warm air touched them so tenderly, they could almost feel themselves changing into flowers. I love everything. I love the sun and the flowers. So do I. The pearls straightened up and looked around. No one was there. Where are you? Look down. I'm the boat on the rock on your right. The pearls stared at the bone. You can't talk in any language. I respect you for you. The <laughs> How come you can't talk? I don't know. I didn't make the world. The pearls were amazed at this bone and wanted to take it home. May we take you home with us? Why, sure. I used to live in a mean witch witch The pearls picked up the bone and head home. But suddenly, two highway robbers wearing Halloween masks jumped in front of them. Hand over the bone. Hand over the cops. You can't have this bone. I'm not a bone. I'm a dangerous cop. Get out of here. The robbers did not want to wait around to hear the rest. They fled. It made the pearls and the bone laugh. <laughs> The pearls continued on their way, but it was not long before three fairies stepped forward. We heard about Zebra! We want it for our kingdom! Give it a right now! You can't have this ball! I'm not a boy, I'm a dangerous dragon. Run! 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 The fairies were terrified. They waved their magic wands and flew away. The pearls and the bone continued their journey until two foxes came across their path. took the bone and the pearls who started to sob. When they arrived to the fox's hideaway, they shoved the pearls and the bone into an empty room. Meanwhile, the foxes went to prepare the fire. The pearls could only tremble. The foxes finally came out of the kitchen. <laughs> the foxes came out of the kitchen. They took the pearls out of the hideaway. As they came out, Suddenly, the bone said, The foxes started to grow several inches shorter, and the bone continued. And miraculously, now the foxes were the size of mice who scurried away into a hole. The pearls were so surprised at what the bone had just done.
It was dark when the pearls reached their house. When the door swung open, they were in their parents' arms. Of their day's adventures. It was all too much for their parents until they got used to it. The bones stayed on and became part of the family. Yeah.